And here we are once again to film the Saddle Club Series 1 episode 14. We're over halfway. We're smashing this. I'm so happy. Um, so let's not hesitate anymore and jump straight into it. Come on, Lisa. You have to take a prep, so you're going to be late for the lesson. I know. I just have to finish this chapter. What's under that rock? A guide to geology. Please don't tell me you're reading that for fun. I'm a big test on Friday. What's more important, rocks or horses? <laughs> and I also have a report you on Thursday, a ballet recital on Saturday, and a clarinet lesson tomorrow night. And a writing lesson in five minutes. I tacked up Prancer for you. Max is already out there, so you guys better hurry up. Thanks, Red. I owe you all. Don't burn yourself out, OK? Prance is still a hot horse, and you need to save your energy for the riding ring. See? Even the barn gods agree. Hey, Stevie! Look! Shh! And by Stevie, I mean all of you. Tag along. they're whispering if someone is there they've cornered them they can't really get up without running away you know you're pretty much cornered when you're in a room like that there's no point whispering they're not going to be able to get out of there without you seeing them anyway. Why are they acting like he just stole a thousand dollars? Like, you just found someone. I'm sure your reaction doesn't have to be that shocked. I just love his instant like he just merely knows that you are trouble. <laughs> just straight on, he's like, I don't give a shit what you think of me. Who are you? I can't with your attitude. Can you ask it without it? I'm Lynn, Red O'Malley's cousin. What were you doing in the hayloft? Uh, just getting a better look at the stables. <laughs> you can see everything from up there. Especially with those on. And then I thought I'd see it through the floorboards. Yeah, because, you know, a better view than the floorboards. So, uh, you guys, you guys must like horses, horses, huh? No, we just hang out here for the hay. Does Max know you're here? Uh, yeah. I mean, we haven't met or anything, but I've spoken to him about buying one of his horses. Which one? Oh, whatever's for sale. Huh? My parents own a huge ranch with lots of horses. Really big ones. And so I kind of grew out of my old stallion. Too bad. I don't think Max has any stallions for sale. Well, we've got to go. We're late for a lesson. Nice meeting you, Liam. <laughs> the music should set. I love how music just sets the mood about like this guy is no tr is no good. He was kind of weird, but he seemed okay. I don't trust him. Why not? I don't know. I mean, he shows up out of nowhere. Says he wants to buy a horse. I guess it is kind of weird how he was hanging out in the hayloft. Right, Lisa? Hello, Earth to Lisa. What? What's with you? Nothing. I just got a lot on my mind right now. That's all. I hate this day and age. She was like, obviously we know what's wrong with her. Um, and it's sad because we do develop illnesses and we get told it's all stress and typical teenager problems and all this and it's not. Sometimes, you know, appendicitis and other things can be caused by stress and our bodies trying to have a defence mechanism for it. Um, but yeah, it's a shame how we just go to the doctor and it's all passed off or, oh, you're just typical teenager problem, you're just stressed, blah, 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 blah. And, it, and it's sad because we do get things seriously wrong with us, except A. <laughs> 
and we're just told to pass it off. Hi ma'am, it's me. Yeah, I'm in Willow Creek. The bus ride was fine, yeah. Red says hello. Yeah, he's great. Yeah, it's great to see him again. Yeah, yeah, a bit thin. Must be all... I know if it's just me, but like, I could always tell when a phone call was fake. Like, when people around you try to make fake phone calls, because like, when you turn 13, you got to have a phone. And people would be cool and try to have fake phone calls. I'd always know they were fake due to the fact that people didn't give you long enough to answer a question or ask a question or give you time to answer the phone. Like, no one answers the phone so quickly. So yeah, just for a tip uh, for people around you who like to make phone, fake phone calls, that's your little tip for them. What was his name? Bob. <laughs> really? Oh yes, yeah, so how many hands was your horse exactly? I don't know if anyone knows exactly how tall their horse is. Like, I know my horse is like 13.3, but going exactly would have been like 13.3 point blah 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 blah. <laughs> like, no one knows the exact measurement of their horse. Um, horses don't have hands, Phil. They're called hooves. That's not what I meant. He knows what you meant. He was just joking. Some people do that. It's called having fun. <laughs> well, I've got to run. I've got to turn Comanche out. But Liam and I can do that for you, Stevie. It's no problem, right? Yeah, sure, no problem. All right, well, knock yourselves out. Go ahead, turn Comanche out. All right, then I'll turn him out. Come on. So you've done this before, right? With all those horses you want? <laughs> yeah, all the time. <laughs> Do you always turn out horses like that? <laughs> yeah, why? You might want to untack him first. Oh, right. Uh, Where did he get the um, sweat scraper from? He wasn't holding it before. I was just going to do that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you were. Ooh. So maybe we better head home. Doesn't she carry a phone? I thought Mum gave her a phone in case it would like to call someone in that situation. And buy the horse? Yeah, uh, and to buy the horse, yeah. He picked up a picture from the bookshelf and said here's a picture like don't they not know that that's not his picture he picked it up from the bookshelf I can't believe you would sink that low you broke Max's trophy and tried to pin it on me you've been bad nothing the guy ever since he got here and then conveniently you just happened to see him break Max's favourite trophy are you saying I set the whole thing up you said it, not me. It's ready. I don't just let anybody ride a horse on the Great Wall of China. Wow. You did that? No, you didn't. Really? I was to start. I think the word you're looking for is lying. See, I told you. What's going on? Simple. Liam hasn't said a word of truth since he got here. How much you, Liam? Well, truth is a tricky thing. I'll make it easy for you. Liam's never owned any China, let alone been there. And his parents have been worried sick ever since they found out he ran away. You ran away? He said he was shopping for a horse. That would be crazy since he lives in a condo. I found these in Max's office. I thought you told me you didn't go in there. I'm afraid it was an accident. You broke the trophy. You blamed it on Phil. I trusted you. He stood up for you. Sorry, Phil. Your parents are on the way to get you. Pack your bags. You're in a lot of trouble, Liam. <laughs> I just loved Phil's face for the, <clears throat> for the whole of that scene. I was just like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
It's a great thing, so I'm going to trouble. I don't think I have to apologize, Phil. But you didn't believe me when I called you a bad lame. I don't believe you when you tell me anything. Why? That was kind of like a delayed response. Who takes that long to respond to a question? It's back to normal, just the way it should be. Ready, you're supposed to do that outside. Yeah, right. Sorry. I just got a lot on my mind. Well, for the sake of my lungs, why don't you call it a day? I'm sure you'd like to spend some time with Liam. No, I don't. And even if I did, I can't. He's gone. He's gone? Where? Probably hiding from me till his parents get here. You were so right about him. He did break the trophy, and, and he didn't even have the guts to take responsibility. He's a pathological liar. <laughs> So that's where I got it from, ever since I heard it on the show. <laughs> I've been using the term pathological liar. <laughs> Lisa! Isn't anyone coming to help? Oh, don't worry. Come you can't carry me. Uh, well, uh, I've got to get you on that horse. <laughs> The reins are just so perfectly tied up. It's just like how she left them. She's all right. What was wrong? It was her appendix. That's pretty serious, isn't it? Yes. They operated just in time. We were lucky she got to hospital when she did. Okay. That's so common for appendix stories. So people have tummy aches and like because tummy aches are so common in an everyday thing, no one believes them. Because they just pass up, oh, it's your diet, oh, you're stressed, oh, you're this. And fantasies can be quite serious. They can kill you if they explode before being taken out. I can't believe everyone was ignoring Liam. The one time he was telling the truth. That's the boy who cried wolf for you. He's outside. I think he wants to see you girls before he leaves. If you want to. Of course you want. Just saw Liam leaving with his parents. He'll probably be grounded for the rest of his life. Mrs. Greg told them how he saved Lisa. He'll probably be coming back for a visit during the holidays. <laughs> He's like, damn it, Janet. Um, we are really sorry we didn't believe you. We? <laughs> I want to hear someone else's name, please. That reminds me of like, you know when like you make a noise in class and people look behind and it was you and you look behind and no one's there. You're sorry? For not believing me, yeah, sorry. Wait, did I hear right? Stevie Lake just admitted she was wrong? Can't be. I didn't say I was wrong, I said I was sorry. It's completely different. Yep, they are. <laughs> And there we are, we've finished another episode. <laughs> if you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up and also please subscribe for more. Also, I have a petition in the description below if you could go sign it. I'm trying to get the unreleased music from the Subtle Club because my life feels empty without it. <laughs> so if you could go sign that and bring it to anyone's attention, Crawford, Crawford's production or Shock Records or any of the music producers, that would be great if we could just get released on iTunes. Like, that's all we need. I'm happy to pay $16.99 for them. <laughs> but I will see you next time in the next episode. Bye, guys.